Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Uh, please take a good look at the email below. If it were a bulletin, Margaret would tell you to take it home and put it on your fridge. Uh, there's a lot of things happening, uh, exciting and important things happening in our life together in the next few weeks. Uh, below you'll find some information about plans for worship during Holy Week and Easter. Uh, we're excited to have three outdoor services together on Easter uh, and then as soon as possible after Easter uh, to begin having reduced capacity worship services in the sanctuary in addition to Zoom groups, backyard groups, uh, and the worship from home format. Uh, so stay tuned for more details in the coming weeks. Let me get you to just save the date for a couple of things. So March 21st, uh, we'll be gathering on Zoom for the election of officers, that's elders and deacons, and you can find information about the nominees below. Also in June, June 5th and 6th, uh, we're gonna celebrate Alan. So put those dates on your calendar. Uh, a team of folks in the office is gathering pictures and updating information. They want to get a directory, an updated list of folks at Black Knoll in your hands. So if you've ever said, hey, what's the name of that person that used to sit in the back left and they kind of have curly hair and then you go on CCB and say, no picture, uh, we want that to be no more. So please uh, put your photo in CCB. You could even win a prize for doing so, uh, see below. I don't know if you've noticed, but on Sundays uh, in the Worship From Home information, there's a link to a page that has prayer requests, both prayer requests from our uh, church partners and mission partners, but also ways that we can be praying for one another, much like the particular concerns that Margaret would announce. Um, please go back and take a look at that. There are many in our congregation who over the past month have lost a mother or sister or brother. Uh, so you might just consider picking up the phone or sending a card. But this morning, I want to um, encourage you to pray for one particular family. Uh, Doug and Cheryl Koenig uh, lost their daughter, Deanna, this week. Uh, we've been praying for the Koenig family. Um, and so please continue to pray for Doug and Cheryl, for Grandmother Arliss and Aunt Karen. Uh, you may remember Deanna as the champion of the crop walk in our midst. Uh, please continue to lift the family in prayer. Pray for Christ's comfort for them. I find myself thinking about this one little line in our passage for la from last week. We remember it as the story of Jesus calling the disciples, but it starts with these words. After John was put in prison. After John was put in prison. It's in this age when godly men are thrown in prison, where young women's lives end too soon. Um, women like Deanna, when we continue to face illness um, and despair and sadness. In this age, Jesus came and said, the kingdom of God is near. Repent, believe the good news, and follow me. That's his word for us today in this age.